Good morning, sports fans. Welcome to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We are streaming on the web uh, on a couple of different sites. Uh, you can go to WLCN Sports and WLCNOnline.com. And you can follow us on the Mixler app. So go to the App Store or iTunes or wherever you go to download apps and download the Mixler app. And you can listen to us on the go anytime, any, well, not anytime, just uh, <laughs> as, as, as we found out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're used to listening to music during the day on Mixler app, uh, you have to find something else because Jimmy's breaking the law. But uh, you can listen to uh, all the sports, all the cheap seats and all that stuff. So download the app. It's a great app. Uh, we are out at the Hampton Inn again, uh, Lloyd and Jake's favorite place. <laughs> Got him some waffles. What are you talking about? We're talking about waffles. waffles. And we got Coach Sokowski with us this morning. Morning, Coach. Good morning, guys. Thanks for taking some time once again. Uh, the season's, uh, I guess, coming to an end. Only, what, three weeks left? Yeah, two-thirds of the way through. Two-thirds. And uh, last night you go to Charleston, a away game, uh, and the kids come home with a big victory. Now, it took all four quarters and every single second. <laughs> it took 48 but minutes. <laughs> at, at the end, you guys are on that bus and with a victory. Uh, and these kids deserve that. You know, they've been playing some really good ball. And, uh, you know, I don't know because I'm not around you every day, but it looks to me like they're out there giving 100%. And for them to get that victory last night, uh, you know, you got to be proud for the kids and excited for them. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was definitely, uh, you know, all 48 minutes, you know, you every second like you said and yeah you know we've been playing really tough the past couple of weeks uh and you know it, w it was nice to get rewarded for that that effort uh you know last two weeks come overcome a lot of adversity uh you know bad stuff has been happening to us on the field you know a couple tough calls against us again last night and our just kids just kept fighting and just you know stayed above that and didn't let it ruin you know ruin what we were trying to do uh, obviously, I, I didn't get to make the game last night. I followed it on Twitter. Uh, our Twitter guy does a great job, Lloyd. He uh, he he films and tweets at the same time. I don't know how he does <laughs> it, and and you know throws video out there. He, he's the, he's the best in the business, isn't he? Uh, yeah. he? He's something. Yeah, and he can eat eggs too while he's doing all that. <laughs> so he's uh, he's multi talented. Uh, so follow him on uh, Twitter. Uh, what uh, what did your kids do last night? I know Pose Gay obviously there at the end through the big pass to first uh, year player holiday yeah. uh, with the big winning uh, catch there at the end. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, what you know who stood out last night. Uh, you know we finally got the running game going a little bit last night. Uh, not not as much as we have in the in the past where we want it to be. But Brandon Schweitzer had a couple of really good carries. Uh, finally got a hundred yard back last night in, in Brandon. <laughs> Uh, you know, he hit some really and had some really nice runs. Um, yeah, passing game obviously going again last night. Uh, unofficially, I think we had around 300 yards passing. Nice. Uh, another three touchdowns throwing. Um, yeah, Doc getting it done. Uh, you know, it, it was real calm, collective there at the end. You know, we had a minute, we went like 74 yards and 15 plays in minute minute 45 or so. So you know, kept composure the whole time and. Just made plays along that drive. A couple Would, fourth down conversions there, and just watching some of the video, well, the, the last play, obviously, it looked like there was a mismatch there for Holiday. Yeah, uh, it looks like he had about I don't know six, seven inches on the kid. And was that play kind of drawn up where you saw him isolated on that uh, DB? Yeah, you know, the play before we ran a slant to him, uh, and probably not the greatest call based off of the the coverage, the leverage that the defensive back was playing. But uh, Doc actually got a really good release on that, and we probably could have made that play. Too. Too. Um, but yeah, Doc did a really good job in that last play of lining up, uh, you know, giving himself a lot of room with his split. Uh, he had the whole numbers and over to work with. Yeah. So he did a great job giving, putting himself in a position to be successful there. And yeah, you know, when Doc came out, it was like, hey, dude, there's nobody in the conference corner that can cover you. You're going to be better, a better athlete, bigger, faster, stronger than all those guys. Uh, you know, when you get the opportunity to make a play like that, that's, that you have to do that for us. You know, that that's where you fit in. And, you know, we knew at some point that's what it was going to come to that, him making a play like that, who don't imagine it happening and, you know, that kind of situation. But, yeah, I mean, that's not a play us coaches sit up and, and hold up for for you hours, drawing that thing up. That's just a, a human post, will. Post play, is that what you call it? Uh, that was a fade. It, it, it just, just kind of goes up and gets it. Yeah, I mean, I just told Dre, and, hey, have those guys run spark, you know, run our, our spacing concept. You got hit. Throw the ball to Doc. Throw it to Doc. 
Throw it up. Throw let him go. go to Doc. Yeah, I mean, that's just a play of the human spirit there, you know. There are a lot of different things we could have done in that situation um, based off what they were, you know, giving us at the goal line there in, in their man coverage. But that's just a play of the human spirit there. Just my guy's better than yours. Go make a play. Well, you got to give the kids credit, too, because, you know, it's, it's towards the end of the game. It's the last play of the game. You're down. Uh, and, you know, these kids haven't really been in that situation very often. And, you know, it seems that they hold their composure. Oh, and, and yeah. just, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you kind of start thinking about stuff and, you know, you fumble a snap or you, you do something. Uh, things have to go right. And yeah. obviously last night they did. And, you know, kudos to the kids for, you know, keeping their, their heads on straight. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. That You know, there was no panic. I was uh, – very impressed and very uh, very pleased with the amount of composure and, and uh, maturity that our kids have showed in that situation is you know we, we'd practice that we go in, in those situations two minute no hurry you know hurry up type stuff but you know it's different when you're doing it uh, you know in a game against right. other other starting defensive players and not not a scout team look uh, but yeah it was just composure maturity and there was no panic it was almost like we knew hey we're good like we're you know, we, th they gave us too much time. You know, we were throwing the ball at will all night on them again, and so it was. It, you know, they just gave us too much time, and uh, when we have some of the playmakers that we do, you know, they make plays when they had to. So you know, it's kind of what happened. That, but uh, your your O line seemed to hold up real well last night too, man. Yeah, Drayden didn't really get hit last night, which was really good. He was banged up heading into last night. Uh, he wasn't really walking very well Thursday. Still, the hip, you know, hip was bothering him a little bit. But you know, you wouldn't have known it. And he did a really good job. I felt of staying in the pocket, trusting his his O line and their pass protection, which was really good again last night for us. Uh, and then he just scrambled there in that last drive when he had to, uh, which I was really happy with. He protected himself all night. And uh, but when the team needed him, you know, he was willing to sacrifice, you know, his body for the, you know the best of the team there. Speaking of sacrificing his body, yeah, yeah, Coach <laughs> took a big hit last week. Yeah, he took sidelined a, you a little bit this week, here. Right yeah, yeah, you know, I got ran over early in the game. Uh, I had to hit the back of the, of the ground. Kind of toughed it out through the weekend. Got our work done, and then you know Monday, just going back to the a full day, full twelve hour day. Uh, you know the grind just kind of got to me and you know didn't really feel very didn't feel right um, So, you know Tuesday morning made the decision to go ahead and get checked out and Doctor's orders wouldn't let me do anything for two days. So but that's just a kudos to our to our assistant coaches uh, You know you kind of plan for that stuff. You talk about what would happen if something like that happens mm -hmm. um, And you know we just so it was really easy. It was you know, I just made a made a few phone calls to a couple of our coaches Hey, this is the deal you know, you're up, you know, you run the show, you know, you, you take care of this, you take care of that. And, you know, our guys did a fantastic job implementing the game plan that we talked about over the weekend. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, who it was, was awesome. Who was the coach kind of running the practice? Uh, coach Harnicky took it over. Okay. Coach Harnicky took it over. Uh, he did a great job. Uh, you know, managing the training room and, and uh, you know, the issues that you got to deal with with injured players after after a week like we had last week with Taylor. But we were pretty banged up. You know, we had some yeah. kids that – you know didn't really practice very much this week and you know it's just great job for you know by those coaches to get everything in place and uh you know we drew up special play up you know doc had that really long touchdown run too uh early there that was a play we drew up sunday morning so you know that play got implemented very well i didn't i only saw us run it one time before we called it in a game and uh it was just, you know just i just trusted our coaches that they did a good job and got the work in during the week and you know, very happy with with our coaches, coaching staff, right for that. Now you talk about health. Uh, everybody play last night because I know, like you said, no. Taylorville game. Uh, Funk didn't play pretty much second half. Was he in there last? Funk night? did not play last night. Funk oh, was okay. medically uh, was not cleared by the training staff, uh, so he was out last night. Uh, Trevor Bree still out. Tyler Vance was still out. Uh, so hopefully, so you know, that's that's pretty good chunk of you know of your talent right there. You yeah. Know, so. Yeah, we were down, you know, that's just, you know, goes back, you know, the overcoming the adversity and guys stepping up. Uh, yeah, so fun, we're hoping, you know, Funk should be cleared for next Friday. That You know, he should be full participant in practice, you know, for most of the week next week. And, you know, hopefully start getting those guys back and try to put together a run here. Well, let's talk about next Friday real quick, Coach. Uh, who do we have Friday? Woodstock North. Uh, and is that there? No, there? they come here. Okay, actually going to play the JV game before the varsity game. So I believe we'll kick off about five. Uh, the varsity game will follow uh, probably 30 minutes or so at the conclusion of the JV game. Okay. Uh, so something new that we haven't really done here. Um, so I'm excited about doing that. Uh, they're a good program. Uh, 
they got you know I, I don't know too much yet just some stuff from the from the last year that I've been you know keeping kind of tabs on them if you will uh Real good defense, interior lineman, real good quarterback. Uh, kid can kind of dual threat kid, uh, triple option type team, but they've lined up in some spread stuff this year. So, you know, we're going to have our hands full. You know, it's not it, it's not going to be easy. I'm not sure what they did last night, but, you know, very similar record to us, um, similar school size to us. Okay. So a lot of, you know, a lot of similarities there. Uh, really stingy defense are playing really well. Um, so it's gonna be a tough one for us, uh, but you know we're I think we're our kids are up for the challenge now and you know ready to go. I think we're ready to get back to work. Oh you know? uh, yeah, after it's got to be easier to get back to the grind after a victory oh, yeah. than a loss. So you, they kind of carry that uh, momentum and that excitement over to next Friday. So hopefully you'll get a good week of practice, which I'm sure you will. And then Friday night uh, starting at you said five. Yes, we have the JV. And then varsity is that going to uh, affect you at all? I mean, as far as players because no. no so we uh actually i just say uh has a rule that's going into place starting next year uh it's required that kids aren't allowed to play games in back-to-back -back days mm -hmm. uh so we've kind of already implemented that policy in preparation you know in the years past we had kids playing two two games a week and you know the kids aren't really practicing because they're playing games mm -hmm. so we've we've adjusted some stuff by just going two levels in in our program and uh you know we we have varsity kids and jv kids that you know we don't really inter intertwine them too much okay. you know it's you play for the most part you play in one game we may dress some kids sophomores up uh you know because they're second th you know they're maybe 13 guys so you never know things happen um so we we have them there but they uh they'll play just you know the jv game or the guys will just play varsity game that night um so we're prepared for that uh you know we've already started implementing that policy that just they mandated in, yeah. in our program all right uh, I, cool. I like the idea of this though coach this is a great way with the rain coming in that i'm sure you you put this rain in the forecast the field should hold up really well or we're gonna be looking for turf right after this game <laughs> yeah it's gonna take a beat in friday <laughs> yeah that's Boy. something yeah that's something that uh you know obviously we'll talk with coach al about and be in contact with their athletic director about what we're gonna do in in terms of that inclement weather on on what we'll do with that jv game because obviously you don't want to tear up the field right before the varsity game if, if you can avoid doing that so that's something that we'll we'll be in contact with regarding you know through our athletic director and you know make sure we make the best decision uh make sure it's you know our field is safe as possible for Absolutely. for woodstock and our kids scotty i just i got hold on he's got him he's got a message well i told you lloyd's the best in the business woodstock north are two and four overall and they lost to Marengo last night, 90, uh, 29 to 22. Okay, yeah, that's about right. They're, they're giving up about in the 20s, and they're scoring in the 20s uh, is what I'm seeing. But they play a good schedule, too. Uh, play Johnsburg. Uh, they lost to Rochester in the tw uh, 16 state championship game. Um, Burlington Central is a pretty good program. So, they, I mean, they play a, a tough schedule, too. They're not, you know, they don't play a bunch of cakewalks either by any means. So, like I said, very similar program to us. You know, they play a, a tough schedule like we do. Uh, you know, demographically, we're pretty similar. So, it's going to be a, a really, you know, even match game. I mean, you know, we're excited for it. All right. Well, Coach, thanks for taking some time. Uh, I know you got some work to do today. Get the kids ready for next Friday, and we'll be out there next Friday to cheer you guys on. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks uh, for having me, guys. All right. That's your Lincoln High School football coach, Coach Silkowski. And uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We come back. We're going to talk about some other high school events going on. So Maybe Lloyd, have another special guest. Another special guest. Stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 FM. Yeah. You ever up late late at night streaming this? Never. I don't what understand do why. What your you, head. What do you consider late at night? Are you 15? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then if you maybe. make it through the 10 o'clock news, you're up late. You're, you, yeah, you're a stud. <laughs> Welcome back to the Cheap Seat 96.3 FM. I'd like to thank the Hampton Inn for hosting us today. Uh, it's our favorite place to go, Joe. I'll tell you what, I've already had a waffle. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. I think I drug the waffle. syrup from syrup <laughs> all over the place. Some maple syrup. Hey, play the breaking news. <laughs> Jim, we got breaking news here. Breaking news. Breaking news. Yeah. I don't think I'm on. Oh. I don't uh, know. Uh, the varsity soccer team opened up the Mattoon Tourney 
play in a convincing fashion last night with a 5-0 shutout of Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond. How you like that, Lloyd? I got four names right. Actually, you're coming along. I'm coming along. Uh, those know. classes that I'm taking. In are the meeting we had on. without you, yeah, <laughs> we said good things. I'm sure you did. <laughs> we did. Uh, the, the boys uh, they held a 15-0 advantage in shots on goal, and in doing so, they picked up their seventh shutout of the season for Peyton Lanning. Goals were by Tate Morning, assisted by Dean Harris, AJ Beard, assisted by Brandon DeAndre. Dean Harris, assisted by Jay Jace McIntosh. And then uh, Jace McIntosh had a goal himself. And also Garrett Slack. Boy, they, that's No some shots scorn. on goal no. <laughs> for the other team? That, that's some defensive pressure <laughs> there. It's uh, pretty easy on your goalie right there. <laughs> He's sitting back here doing jumping jacks, <laughs> the worm, yeah. whatever it takes. Yes. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Went and got him some McDonald's. You know, make it happen. <laughs> Sets up a little picnic table yeah. there for him. That, uh, that moves the boys' soccer record to 11-7. and seven. Next up for the boys is Olney, Richland County, and that's uh, today. I don't know why I typed tomorrow morning, but I did. So I didn't uh, type it last night. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I didn't. No, I did. I did. Very impressive. <laughs> well, I took this off. Uh, never mind. I understand. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's followed by a uh, Apollo Conference game, Powerhouse Mattoon. Ooh. Speaking of powerhouse, powerhouse Matt Toon, Matt Toon. they beat Mount Zion Matt last Toon. night. 15, yeah, you know what? I, just look, I was just looking at these scores up there. I, Muhammad must be down too. Effingham put sixty-four on. Yeah, mm. I didn't think Effingham was that, Effingham was that good. They of football had, well, team. they had a slow start. Now they're like you've been four saying that all year. I long. didn't think they were that good. And I think the last four games they put up fifty and sixty and fifty. Well, that's what I mean. Well, Man, it Muhammad was, must be down. It was against Macomb too. I mean, well, come right. on. They're still putting uh, up points. You know, and, and how about the Raiders last night? That was a big win. That was a big win. And it's uh, it's good for the kids because, I mean, we, we you were out at the Taylorville game. Those kids played their hearts out. Yep. They, they just couldn't hang with them. You know, it's just it's just the way it is there. You know, they play, they've played every team tough this year, the first half. Well, I think I tell you what, and there's some players on that Right. Team. It's and the biggest line we've had yeah. in a long time. And we're just not deep. See, I don't buy into the deep thing anymore. Like, well, you got to get some rest. You can't have kids going both ways. And I think that was a big factor when you were in the CSA and you watched complete offenses or defenses run off the field and sit down. You know, we would just watch kids sit over there and rest, and then, oh, am I up? Come over and run the football against us. I think in this conference, most teams have kids going both ways. I mean, okay. you just need you need to make yourself a better football player and be in shape. But I don't think we can throw that out there as much as we used to. There's a lot of teams going both ways, really. All right, I like that, Joe. <laughs> well, I think so. <laughs> so I mean, you, hey, you know, you were very passionate about that, and you actually had knowledge. I, I appreciate that. Well, I'm not very smart. You know that. Well, I think the Raiders have, they have a big line. I, you know, the only thing they're missing is an inside run game. I, I really think that, because you know, you have, I believe what they're running was jet sweep. I didn't see the game, but I mean, I was listening, and. Uh, uh, when you guys weren't there. Anybody said it? Or you were there, Lloyd. Lloyd was there. I think what they were running, Jet Lloyd, sweep. Lloyd, you want a mic? And everybody gets sick of seeing Jet Sweep. You know, I've had people complain before, you know, because that was I've been with staffs that Jet Sweep is a big deal. But Jet Sweep is, a, is an awesome play because it is, first of all, you are checking the defense. Hey, you know what? You better spread out because now, we're going to run okay. outside over there on you. Now, here's the thing. I think you can get away with Jet Sweep. In the Apollo. It's it's a good offense to run in the Apollo. Central State 8, not so much because jet sweep's about speed. For us. For us. Yes. Right. But if you're a big school, you can run jet sweep. Right, right. You're I mean, right. I think, I think we'd have more success running it now in the Apollo than we did running it for the years we did in the Central State 8 just because Absolutely. speed kills. And right now, and you know what? they've the, got the Schweitzer kid who's just lightning fast. Yeah, he's fast. And if you can get him the ball, you know, before – you know, the defense moves and on that what's sweep. the object of the jet sweep, do you know? The object? To no. score touchdowns. <laughs> the object of the jet sweep <laughs> is to take... Good call. Right, isn't it? Yeah, I'm you want sure to take, give the ball the to one of your fastest kids and Before. have him be full speed and be run right. at someone standing still. Right, absolutely. And, and that's what I just said. And when you, when just you say can that? run score jet sweep touchdowns. effectively, yeah. you can spread out the defense because they have to honor it. Then you can run back up the middle of the field. I, I really... Lincoln has a good little offense. There's some, some weapons there. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, that you get a 6'5 kid that can run like holiday. that and jump, a, you know. First year playing, Joe. Christmas holiday. First, you don't know where he's first been. First year playing. Christmas holiday that's is a big impressive. deal to have on your football I mean, team. He's just an athlete. He's a good baseball player. Uh, he played basketball in the past. Uh, he's just an athlete. and Plays the triangle in the band. Yes, does he? I think about I putting know. that <laughs> Badanovich back there or, or Morris, one of those kids yeah. that can bowl up the middle of the field. Because you, know, you keep those linebackers have to stay home then. Uh-huh. If you could run up the middle of the field. I think if Lincoln gets an inside running game, they're good. They're a good team. There. Okay. Good. Well, good job, Joe. Boy, this guy. This moment of clarity. Yeah. Brought to you by Joe Ryan Country. I'm Financial. telling you, you know, like <laughs> last year I wasn't at a game because I was in Bloomington. I didn't get to watch much. But n- now that I've How's you know, Bloomington watched, doing this year? They probably got a winning record now, don't they? They are good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. I knew where you were going with it. It's amazing how much better they are this year. I'll tell you what, they moved the coach from Warrensburg Latham over there. He's having success. Mm-hmm. The lower levels at Bloomington High School are very good. Yeah, uh, he has a lot of talent. Tough conference, but a lot of talent. And you know, Fricky won again last night. That's what I was getting ready to say. Oh, you know, yeah. Lincoln native last night over in Warrensburg. Uh, who did who do they have last night? Who did they play? Because they got some tough games coming yeah, up. Yeah, I can't even remember the name of them too. And you know what, I. Even checked it and knew it. But was it Manito? It, it was, was not Manito. Did you get my picture I sent the other day? Jim, was it Manito? Manito. Jim, I'm going to put together something <laughs> one of these days. If he could figure out how to do it. Yeah, once I figure out how to do it, I'm going to do it. Uh huh. My <laughs> God. But the, yeah, old Fricky over there, uh, they had him on the news the other night. Uh, he's got him rolling. He's got those Cardinals rolling. Yeah, he's doing good things over there. That's fun. He's going to get in the playoffs. And he assured himself of that last night. Yeah, and that wasn't expected this year from them, you know, because they're young. No, they were not. Yeah, they lost they're, a lot of kids. Yeah, they, they lost a lot of kids. They're young, so. I think I his next know. two games are I'm against. They've got uh, Santa Teresa, I know, coming up. And, uh, uh, and the other tough one. Uh, so is it Tuscola, maybe? Yeah, uh, Tuscola. I'll yeah. tell you what, <laughs> those are two tough schools yeah, to play. They are. Meridian last night. Meridian, yeah. Meridian? Yeah. So, yeah, the but they beat them pretty good, too. They're not, they're not very good this year, Meridian. 42-14 or something, yeah. yeah. So. That's good. <laughs> you got three games left. Yeah, it's – it's uh, boy, I, I tell you what, the, it's hard to believe football season's about over, guys. Yep. It's flying by. Not if you're in the playoffs. Well – Playoffs. 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 You know what, if you're <laughs> – if you're, yeah, you gotta look at that science sound, but if you're in the playoffs, I mean, heck, you're going to Thanksgiving, possibly. Yeah, I mean, if you keep playing, you got a lot of time left. Where's yeah. the playoffs gonna be this year? Uh, I need to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was funny. I didn't even see it coming. Nice job. Pretty sure Manito doesn't have a football field. <laughs> so there. And you guys are lucky I'm a good sport. <laughs> because I could just stomp out of here. Yeah. Right take now. Your ball that would make, go home, that would make the show better. <laughs> I'm telling you, you make the show. <laughs> Drop, Mike. You make the show. That's why listeners listen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Guess what Scott's doing today? <laughs> well, it's not any work, that's for sure. You got that right. <laughs> You're going to pick pairs? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Jim's job. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jim's not allowed on a that ladder was. anymore. <laughs> that was Jim's job. He got banned from lo- climbing a ladder. <laughs> the pear picker. I'm going to find me a pear picking song. Manito. Oh, yeah. Yep. Manito. Hey, I never said my English and pronunciations were top notch. You guys knew what you were getting into when you signed on with me. Yep. And that's why we both got bonus pay. That's right. Bonus pay. Yo, you oh, you get didn't get the bonus jet? pay? No. <laughs> no. Mine was a cash incentive. You should check your mail. <laughs> check the mail. I've check the mail. Checking the mail. Well, hey, let's take another yeah. commercial break. We'll come back. We're going to talk some uh, college football. we got NFL going on. And it's the last weekend of baseball, boys. Uh, Woo, doggy now. Cardinal fans, I just want you to know I was rooting for you against Milwaukee. Yeah, we, we were rooting. <laughs> so <laughs> guess who I'm rooting for Woo. next year? The Cardinals all year long. Well, I tell you what. That when I'm Milwaukee rooting, team. they lose. Man, Let's that, talk. That's brutal, guys. Uh, but stay tuned. You're in the Chief Seats, 96.3 FM. This is Tim Kirkchin from ESPN, and you're listening to Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM, WLCN, with Joe, Jake, and Shabadoo. Shabadoo! Shabadoo! That's my favorite. This is my favorite. I'm waking up at the 
Some good morning music right there. Good, good morning. morning. Wake it up. Good morning, Shabby. Who sings Shabby that? Shabby Doo Doo. Who sings that? Manito. Uh, I don't know. No such thing. Yep. I believe it was. Some Jim, you should bass. know. You just played it. <laughs> 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 uh, welcome back. Joe Satriani, wasn't it? <laughs> welcome back to the Cheap Seats, 96.3 FM. I feel like I'm at the kids' table at Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, this is what you need at Thanksgiving, because you can just sit here and here shovel it in. in. I'll tell you what, it would save some stains on the front of my shirt. <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh, welcome back, uh, guys. Uh, and another Saturday, another uh, a line of uh, football games oh, today going big on. Big weekend of college. Uh, Rears, good. This one here should be pretty good. Uh, number one, Whoa. Alabama versus Louisiana. What do you so. mean? You got Stanford and Notre Dame tonight. Uh, exactly. That'd be a good one. That's, uh, that's, that's a tough one. That's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's, uh, that's going to show you Notre number Dame Number seven, fans. Stanford at number eight. Notre Day. Both what of them. times that start? That's a six thirty. Six thirty game there. Six thirty. Will they have that on at the at the we'll soiree? Have that the soiree. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're gonna have to get <laughs> at the where soiree. What's that? That's a little. I couldn't tell you what the meaning of a soiree is. Is here. that for no, fancy people? Uh, I don't I know. Don't we know. gotta get dressed. I up fancy, certainly could not spell fancy. it. Are we not invited? Uh, do you want to be invited? You I want to go, buddy. I've got next. You have a buddy. I've, I've got two seats extra. There you go, buddy. No, I'm good. Oh, yep, get dressed up. You might have to clean up a little bit. One Shave fourth, that one beard fourth of my table called me last night and informed me they would not be there. <laughs> I'm like, really? They're like, well, we'll, well, the check's already in the mail for you. All right, I don't care. Then yeah, don't <laughs> as long, as, long as I didn't seat. have to pay for you. Extra seat. I tell you what, though, the food is excellent. Mm. Oh, it's a fun time. Oh. I, the, the dressing up is, t is difficult. It's, What's this for? It's a, uh, it's a Lincoln, Lincoln College, College. Uh, Heritage Museum, actually. Okay. It's a good event. They have a lot of things. It's great food. It it's is. Great food. They have some great uh, auctions. Yeah. Uh, good auction stuff. Buy me something good, will you? I might get you something. I've, I've, uh, I have donated to the auction. Oh. Yeah. What, what did you, you donate? donate? Uh, it is a painting of Abraham Lincoln. Uh, it's kind of it's. Oh, so they there, there's actually that. there's actually two. Is it a part of the vignette? <laughs> <laughs> they they could pop, potentially Good make word. a vignette. You I know was, what? I was waiting about. for you to I'm jump on. I'm telling you. I was waiting for you. They could couldn't think of the word. You gave me a it, yeah. dumb look. And <laughs> I I tell you what. He's good. I am good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I bet there's a little studio in your basement where you go down there and practice. <laughs> Manito. No, there's not. <laughs> there's not? No. Manito. This is just all natural, guys. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what you see is what you get. At 9 o'clock, it just, it just flows. And then it's on. And you want to be my latex, man. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Whatever that yeah. means there. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not. We let him on the radio from we're, last week. We're in the world. It was two weeks ago. Come on, man. That's Seinfeld. Rusty. <laughs> Rusty. Let's get back to college football. Number guys. four, Ohio State. Play, uh, at Ohio State versus number nine, Penn State. That'll be a big That'd one for the Big Ten. One. That'll yeah. be a good one right there, guys. Six thirty tonight. And here's one. I mean, Syracuse isn't ranked, but they're play. They're uh, at Clemson. That's usually a good. Uh, Good match there. Uh, Clemson's been good. Clemson's yeah. good. They're four and zero. They're ranked number three. Uh, uh, Illinois off today. Yeah, they needed it. Well, you know <laughs> what though? I, I went home <laughs> to the <laughs> gym. The gym yeah. over there. Gym. That, that, that little that gym. Hey, I, I, real quick on the Notre Dame uh, Stanford game. I don't. I see Notre Dame rolling them. You do? Yeah, I do. Stanford really hasn't been very impressive so far this year. They they have some. But Notre Dame really hasn't. Play, yeah, I guess they played. Uh, I Michigan. think they've been pretty good so yeah. far, man. Good ball control. I, their defense is pretty tight. I I see Notre Dame rolling them. He likes Notre Dame, Joe. Wow. You know what I'm that means? For the Irish. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. Although I was a big John Elway fan. You were. You're huh? still not. You're not. I am, but he's a Stanford boy. Is that where McCaffrey went? Because I like him too. That's where Andrew Luck went. Okay. What else you got? You got something on here? Not really. Uh, number 22, Duke. How about them Duke Blue Devils? Dukey. Very, actually, kind of surprising that they're in there, but yeah. They, they've been pretty solid the they've past been solid so several far, years. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, 
Now do you think the Duke basketball program helps build the football program? Because I kind of do. Uh, it it, you, it you makes know, you, them. I don't know that the kids go there because of it, but it makes you know the I, coaches I, and the staff go out and try harder because they want to compete with basketball. But as far as a, a recruiting standpoint, I doubt. I, it. I think you get kids that go. Wow, you know, Duke's this unique school in a in a very cool place. And they, you know, they're, uh, I just think it would be, t if, if you have options, <laughs> if you have options and Duke's one of them, you kind of look that way because the basketball program's so good. It'd be a fun school to be at. Yeah, well, I, can, I can see that too. You don't think so? I don't know. Well, Maybe it out there. I'm asking a question. Call them and you know, I, 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 no. I, I think, I, think so? I, I, I think that, uh, you know, some of the basketball players may go to a football game to watch. So if you have a good football program, it can help the basketball program. I don't think it goes in reverse. I, I don't think the recruiting times are right, and I don't. I don't think a football player is going to make a decision on that. I think they're going to be looking at where they're playing and what the program is. Well, so. could be. I've never been a football player or a basketball player, so my knowledge on this is very lacking. Yeah, we're on the radio. <laughs> That's what makes makes. You I think good. everyone knows we don't really know anything. So. Oh yeah. I don't know. My I think a lot of people listen to us because right on. I think a lot of people listen to us because it makes them feel better about themselves. That is a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Makes everybody smarter. It makes us. you feel a little bit smarter. Yeah. And a, at least a, I'm not as dumb as those guys. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Manito. Not even going to disagree there. Manito. Uh, anything else that pops out to you in the old NCAA football world? Uh, you got some good games this morning. Like you said, you got Alabama playing. Uh, West That's Virginia, not going to be a good game. Texas Tech. Well, you know, you get you know, some fun games if you, you know if you want to watch some college football. Like Alabama's going to have some future. NFL players on there, of course. So it's it's fun to watch some some guys that are going to be drafted. Uh, hop on that bandwagon there, and then you got some later games with Tennessee against Georgia, uh, uh, number six Oklahoma against Baylor. That's usually a pretty pretty tough game. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it, fun day of college football, guys. Yeah, it's football. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. You just watch it. No, it matters. It does matter, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the nice thing about college football is you can have 10, 15 different uh, games to watch. If uh, if you're watching one that's a blowout and you don't like it, or if you do like it, you stay on there, you know. But, yeah, lots of options. Well, not if you don't have a very good cable package, you know. Ooh. <laughs> or dish or whatever they yeah, have nowadays. So I have, like, three or four options. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, mm -hmm. Scott. I'm coming over. All right. Game day's on. Oh. Game day. Somebody just got gas. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What'd you smell? <laughs> you. Smell your sausage. <laughs> Notice we all scoot away. <laughs> Joe, come on now. What are you talking about? Somebody's got gas. Um, let's take one more commercial break. We'll come back. We're going to wrap up with uh, NFL baseball. and MLB. Coming down to the wire, guys. That's it. All right. Stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats. 96.3 FM. Out of out of the ears range. I don't. How does that make that my song? Well, I don't know. We talked when we had that meeting without you. We were talking about your oh, favorite songs, you and things a, you like to do, and you words you like to say. And you had a meeting without me. We're having a meeting. It was Gazardo's, and it was delicious. Yes. Again, and, uh, reading text. He's reading it's stuff now, well. so we may as well talk about the NFL. Go the NFL. Well, I'll tell you what. The Cardinals played last weekend. They did. Who they Or play? no, what they did was they hosted another NFL football team. Oh, wh where was that team from? Hey. They hosted hey. the Chicago Bears. The Bears. And, hold on. Uh, hold on oh, real quick. Well, hang on. Go ahead. See, the the, the radio no, audience, they I can't I hear you I know, talking. but listen. Okay. What, what's your title on the show? Uh, guest. Assistant. No. Guest. Manager to guest. the guest getter. Guest getter. What's Lloyd's title? Uh, Manito. Uh, Cameraman. Videographer. Videographer. Social. Social, yeah, adjust. media giant. Well, he's already reached out to Atlanta Braves trying to get uh, Mr. Seitzer on the air with us. How'd now, that he was denied. <laughs> <laughs> but... He tried. he tried. What do you mean he was denied? This is pretty much a denial right here. <laughs> is that what it is? We'll check with Kevin and see if he has availability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't even speak Outlook to him. not good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out Outlook not good. But A he for F. Probably boy. said Lincoln. Manita. Who? Yeah. Okay. Let's get let's get to some baseball. Cardinal fans, uh, I got to tell you, I was rooting for you. 
against no. them Brewers. And you told us that. What happened? What happened? Uh, you know, I think it, it comes down to who's hot, who's not. Uh, Milwaukee's a solid Milwaukee baseball team. Milwaukee is playing out of their minds at the right time yeah, right they are. now. They, they look like the old 82 uh, Brewers there just hitting the ball all over the place, making some good plays in the field. I mean, how old were you in 82? Would have been five. So yeah, because that was six. The heck do you know? <laughs> The Cardinal, they compared the Cardinals to 82 were also Brewers. in the World Series that year. Oh, yeah? It's How do you year. know that? It was a good year. How do you know that? How do you know? I watch. Oh, that people oh, walk on the moon. five years old? Oh, do you yes. remember? Oh, yes. I was a game one. He, that guy a right what? there game one. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said something else. <laughs> I know. And I know what you thought he said. I <laughs> <laughs> can't say that. Yeah, you cannot say that. You can't say that on the air. Yeah. Don't try it. <laughs> I got to get that video clip right there. Right there. Have some fun with that. But right. uh, yeah, yeah, the uh, the Brew Crew they're up in Detroit right now, and Detroit let one slip away last night. Did you see the home run by Braun? Yeah. In the in the guy's glove, it pops out up over the fence. Brewers it's tough go catch. on to win. Yeah, tough, it catch. tough catch. It was in the pocket of his glove. Uh, yeah. I mean, if players he, make if, plays. But if he didn't catch players it, it wouldn't plays. have been a home run. It would have been off the wall. I don't think it would have been a home run. And if if, if Jose Canseco wasn't standing well. where he was standing, he wouldn't have hit off his head and went over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that there is something else. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. But, uh, yeah. So, the uh, the Cubs are still up a game in the division. Two games to Boy, go. It, you know. That's coming down the wire. It's coming down the wire. How, how as a Cardinal fan, do you, do you want to play a little spoiler on the Cubs? No, nah, the Cardinals I mean, aren't officially eliminated, are they? No, not yet. Well, they're... <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, I think the, the Dodgers no. are playing San Francisco, which down the stretch here has been the worst team in baseball. Uh, so they have to win one against that team. I'd say they have a pretty good chance of doing that, or the Cardinals have to win out, and they have to hope that they lose both games. So they're out of it. Yes, they. I, I would say you could. Not mathematically, but they're out of it. Okay. Well, you know, stranger things have happened. This is true. Yeah. Cubs well. did win the World Series a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> that was forgot all about weird that. and awkward. And, but it was so much fun. <laughs> it, is fun. <laughs> it is fun. It is. Fun. And you know, it, it's and that's why now, if the Cubs fans, they have a different outlook on their team now. In the past, they would have been satisfied getting that wild card spot you know they, they would have been satisfied with that but now it's well they may no. still be getting it like, right <laughs> right but you know? but they want more they want the division you know they don't want to tie you know you know I, here's I, if the cubs and the brewers tie they're going to have a one game playoff monday yeah. and then the loser is going to play tuesday in the uh, wild that, card game that's at uh, milwaukee right what milwaukee won the season Series. If they tie, yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah if, if Milwaukee won this, no, I don't know. I don't know either, actually, because I yeah. know the Cubs kind of swept them at first. And right. Then, I don't know what that is, but uh, anyhow, anywho, so if, if obviously you want to win the division, but would you rather have that one day rest? Or, you know, if you win the division, you're going to have like three well, days I'll tell you what, you got. I mean, you know, you uh, win the division, you're guaranteed to have a longer series. Whereas if you don't, you're going to be playing. Uh, and obviously, you're still playing for home well, field. You're advantage. probably going to be playing either. It'll be either L.A. or Colorado. You'll be playing one or the other. Right. Uh, I would not want to face Kershaw in a one-game playoff. No. Uh, and if you were playing at Colorado, I wouldn't want to. Well, I guess you wouldn't not be gonna play at no, Colorado. It's gonna no, be, it's going to be at which it's either going to be the Cubs or Brewers, right? Which is that's kind of crazy too. They're the top two teams, top in, two the, teams in, in the, in the, the National, in the National League. League. Yeah, well, it and worked they out could that way when the Cardinals played the Cubs two right. years ago. Yeah, you know, we had three teams out of the, the Central there. So I tell you, it's exciting baseball. It's uh, keeps you on the edge of your seat. Uh, I tell you what, it's been a fun year. It has. As, as a Cardinal fan, you know, we we were you guys were down we and out at all, and, at we, all we Star out. Break. You yeah. guys were selling out the farm. So, you know, oh, let's yeah. trade, 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 and then. Guys start winning, you know. Yeah, Mac, made a little, Mac made, Carpenter made a little hot. manager trade, yeah. and all of a sudden, or manager change and firing, and all of a sudden, they start getting into it a little bit, and 
momentum started happening. Matt Carpenter got hot as a firecracker. I don't know if anybody this year has been as hot as what yeah. he was in that short period of time. He hit like ten homers in like two weeks. In two, yeah. Like, like he looked like, like Barry five Bonds. Five of them were against the Cubs right after the break. <laughs> that's, that's true. So yeah, he got hot. Uh, the Cardinals got hot. They got some good pitching. Uh, I think where you guys your downfall was your bullpen. You know. Yeah, the, we, we got Norris hurt at the wrong kinda. time. Bud Norris uh, tweaked that hamstring, and as a pitcher, you're, if your hamstring's hurting, you're you're not in a good spot. It's going to leave you vulnerable either on the front side or back side. So. But you got to you got to be happy with the future. I, lo- I love Jordan Hicks. I think that Ooh. kid, his his future is very very bright. You well, know, no, he's you, up you, there throwing 101, 102, and then he's got that. 92 mile per hour slider breaking ball. Yeah, he's uh, he's a tough kid to hit. Uh, his problem is location. You know, sometimes he has a hard time locating that strike zone. And well, he and, and like you said, he is a kid still. So right, That's it'd be getting. nice to get some maturity under him. You know, this is gonna be a big off season for him. See what he can do. Hopefully, come out of the off season healthy in the spring training. I know a lot of kids that went when they pitch the way he does and, and the Cubs have seen this before too they go into the next year and you have high hopes for them all of a sudden they're broke down in the, in the preseason they never get their footing again right so you know you have to hope for that but we've got some other kids coming back too Reyes uh, the Cardinals are going to have a decision to make with Wainwright uh, I don't see Wainwright coming back I, I mm, if he Unless does he gives it, him a big hometown discount I don't think it'd be a hometown discount I think whoever he signs with it he's going to be pretty inexpensive He's going to be one of them KG veterans no, he's that they gonna, hire. But he's going to be a solid four or five pitcher. You know, he's not your number if one. He's, if two. he's healthy. Right. That's the problem. He's just been so hard to stay keep healthy. Uh, I agree with that. But they, they do have some good young pitchers still coming up through the system. The Cardinals do. Uh, that can also help boost, boost that bullpen. We got what we got, and then we've got a couple guys that are going to probably be rotating around. Hudson's going to probably be in the rotation next year. He was this year's uh, Pacific Coast Pitcher of the Year. Uh, he's a ground ball pitcher that's built for starting, not so much for the bullpen. So we got some things going on there that, that look positive. The question is, they got a lot of money to spend. Are they going to go out and get a third baseman? Are they going to try to get move Fowler and do something out there? I mean, there's there's some questions there as well. Will uh, Tyler O'Neill get some more playing time next year? And where he, where is he going to play? So, what's his natural position? Boy, they they've had him all over in the outfield. I would say a left field is the best best position for him. Uh, he's got decent arm and he's fast. So where do you move move Azuno to right? Azuna to right? No, he's got a better arm than uh, Azuna. Okay. So maybe you move maybe you move him to right. You're right. Or to another team. Oh, yeah. Maybe. We <laughs> Maybe. don't know. There you go. All right. Well, it's 10 o'clock. And let's talk football real quick. Uh, Bears beat the Arizona Cardinals last week. America's team went down. Oh, the Cardinals are the worst team in the NFL. Yeah. You There's just – Khalil yeah, Mack took them down hard. It's it's hard to watch. And, and it's now hard on a, hard next, on a up, to watch. next yeah. up for the Monsters of the Midway are the Bucks, Lloyd. The Tampa Bay Bucks come to I Tampa think Bay Bay some type of little wager between you two would be fun. Yeah. What would you yeah. like to wager? See, uh, between two, you la- two. two laps around uh, the old Hampton Inn next time we're here. Backwards. I gave him a hat. How's that? You see what I gave him? How about backwards? Show that hat. <laughs> Show that hat. Look what I gave him. Manito. Nice. Boy, that's a nice hat. That's a nice looking hat there. Where'd you get that at? A buddy he didn't spend it. He got it for free. You're damn right I got it for free. <laughs> that guy's not buying anything. Hey, a buddy of mine lives in Tampa Bay, and he came up. You got a buddy? I got a buddy. Got a buddy? I got many buddies. Ooh. Just not around here. <laughs> <laughs> Including this bench what? table ball. Where are this some of your buddies located? Uh, Manito. <laughs> Most of them in Boy, Florida. Boy, I'll tell you what. A great deal of them in Florida. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, that's going to do it for us. I uh, got the man T- Manito uh, played about, what, five or six times. So, congratulations, guys. It's Proud hard on you. A, it's hard on you, I know. One of these days, we'll move on. I'm probably I'm highly doubting it. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm thinking uh, no. I look not good. On behalf of all of us here, we'd like to thank our listeners for tuning in. I'd like to thank the Hampton Inn. Boy, the Hampton Inn. They this, did it is, again. this has been a... A broadcast of WLCN Sports. Yeah, That's pretty good. Like that? How you like that? That's good. Yeah. Next week we're going to be at Jake's. The Jake's. Jake better have waffles. Thanks for tuning oh. in. Good day.